Yeah, this is nice. This is quite nice for performing a theatre. We don't get this in Brisbane. Not at all. No. Oh, no. Normally in Brisbane, the first few rows have like four rum and cokes and they're like, me too's made up. So this is <laughs> very special. Um, <laughs> don't worry, I'm not one of those comedians. If you want to wiggle around and get your drink, I'm not going to make fun of you. I'm not one of those like, your mum's fat. Where do you work? I don't do that. <laughs> don't have the skills and I don't have the self-esteem. So, <laughs> also that would be very hypocritical of me because my mum, oh, huge, big woman, very big lady. Oh, she's a beast of a thing. Oh. <laughs> don't worry, she's not here. It's, it's a safe space. Yeah. That tells us two things, doesn't it? She's fat and unsupportive, so. <laughs> now I know what's gonna happen. I'll get emails like, Mel, that's fat shaming. You can't do that. Well, if a fat tree falls in a fat forest, who gives a fat fuck? Anyway. <laughs> I date birds. Uh, yep, I do. <laughs> yep, I'm not wearing these shoes, so when I get home, I can get some extra traction to suck cock. You know what I mean? The... <laughs> date babes. It's a thing that I do. And people said to me, Mel, how did you tell your parents? that you were gay, how did you do it? And I said, actually, I split them up. I told them separately, right? So I told dad first, and they're like, oh my God, you told your ex-military father that you were gay before you told your mum. And I'm like, yeah, of course I did. Dad's ex-navy, I just thought he would get it more, you know? <laughs> He's like, Dad, I don't know what happened. I was hanging out with my best friend in the world. She's beautiful, and we just fell in love. And he's like, oh yeah, been there. Yeah, fucking been there. <laughs> <coughs> Must call Bruce on Anzac Day, yeah. <laughs> Dad went to Vietnam as well, which is huge, yep. Oh, not with the war, he went last week on a cruise, loved it. <laughs> should go. Uh, no, he did, he, he, went to, he went over there with the Navy, he went to Vietnam, and I was like, Dad, what, like, what happened over there? Did any, like, any big things go down? You know, now I'm getting older, I'm getting more confident in speaking with him. He's like, oh yeah, stuff goes wrong every day. And I'm like, give me an example, right? So one thing you need to know is my dad was a cook in the Navy. <laughs> so not so much bang, 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 more like whisk, 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 you know. Uh, so I was like, what, what, what happened? And he goes, oh, I'll tell you something, right? In the tropics, mayonnaise curdles. <laughs> Lest we forget. Um, <laughs> My parents split up. They split up when I was 21, which is a tough age, right? So they stayed together long enough to ruin my childhood, okay? <laughs> but not quite long enough to pay for uni. <laughs> Selfish. Um, but Dad's out there, Dad's dating. He's getting back on the, the dating scene and he's found himself a fantastic lady friend. Her name is Pam. That is a real name. I haven't changed it. I don't give a fuck, right? <laughs> Also, I know this is going out to Brisbane. Brisbane's a small place. Also, if you think you know her, yeah, that's fucking her, yeah. <laughs> oh, Westpac Pam, yep. <laughs> Pam and I don't get on, oh. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> yeah, don't like Pam. Oh. Because Pam's always saying to me, Mel, why don't you travel? Why don't you go overseas, live in Europe for a year, explore? I'm like, mm -mm -mm. no way, no way, Pam. Pam, my dad owns his own house. He owns it outright. <laughs> he is mortgage free on five acres, 25 minutes from the heart of Brisbane. I'm not taking my eyes off that fucking house. <laughs> That is my house, Pam, okay? I'm not gonna be on the beach in Greece when you move your shit in and claim squatters' rights. I don't fucking think so. <laughs> but Pam, it's not a good name, is it? It's not a great name. Pam. <laughs> Dad lies to her. Dad goes, Pam is a beautiful name for a beautiful woman. Two lies. Um... <laughs> It's not a beautiful name, like Annalise. Oh yeah, that's a pretty name, yeah. That's nice. Natasha, that's hot. Pam, no, not hot. <laughs> Pam, <laughs> like, like I've heard that noise before when I've ordered a medium curry when I should have just stuck with a mild. Pam, 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 Pam. Good night, Melbourne, I'm Melbourne, I'll see you later.